As the executive assistant Avery Bancroft, your responsibilities are to make sure that the personal and administrative jobs in the casino are dealt with, correct? That's right. And you would even say that nothing happens in the casino without going through you first? Uh, yeah, I'm in charge of a lot of things around the casino and mostly to help out Ms. Bancroft as much as I can. And one of the specific jobs you have as the assistant is the scheduled meetings, right? That's right. So then you, on March 1st, you received a phone call from Mickey Keenan? That's correct. To set up a meeting for the second? <coughs> That's right. In that meeting with Mickey Keenan, you learned that instead of being an auditor, Mickey Keenan was actually a police officer. He did reveal that to me, yes. And that in this meeting, Mickey Keenan had a plan to catch Avery Bancroft bribing Chase Covington. Isn't that true? Yes, that's what he explained to me. Not to the best of your knowledge in this meeting, you were involved in this plan as the meeting scheduler, right? That's right. So your job, just to clarify, was to schedule meetings between the Midlands Gambling Commission and Bancroft Entertainment. That's right. So let's talk about the first meeting you scheduled. That was on March 31st? Correct. And that meeting was between yourself, Avery Bancroft, and Mickey Keenan? That's true. Now in this meeting, you talked about general proposals, correct? We did, yeah. But then you changed the subject, didn't you? Um, well, Officer Keenan had said that I should mention something and that it was important that it comes from me and not him. Um, so that was kind of me interjecting at that point, yeah. Now you would think that you were talking about a bribe, wouldn't you? Um, yeah, after the, the, he explained the purpose of the investigation, that was the purpose of my interjection, yes. So just to clarify, a bribe was brought up in this meeting? Um, the idea of a bribe was brought up, yeah. So let's talk about April 13th. That was the next meeting you scheduled? That's right. That meeting was between Chase Covington, Mickey Keenan, and yourself, and Avery Bancroft? Yes. That meeting was in th suite 312 of the Black Bear Hotel? Yes, it was. Now before entering the meeting, you were screened by Danny Point, weren't you? Uh, yes, we were. Danny Hoyt took all your cell phones? Uh, yeah, cell phones, any type of electronics. Right? Any type of electronics, right? Yeah. Now, in that meeting, to the best of your knowledge, a bribe was also brought up. Well, when I was in the meeting, we simply discussed uh, proposals and the idea of the 100,000 reasons, which Mr. Covington shot down and said no right away. So, just to clarify, before going into the meeting you talked about a bribe in, you were screened and, and your electronics were taken away, right? Before the April 13th meeting? We... Before talking about the bribe in the meeting, you were screened by security? Yeah. You had never seen that type of security before, have you? Um, no, that was actually the first time I did see something like that. But you've scheduled lots of meetings for Avery Bancroft, haven't you? Yeah, for Miss Bancroft to have. And in none of those meetings, other than this one, did you ever see any type of security like this? Uh, no, like I said, this was the first time. Let's move forward to April 16th. This was the last meeting you set up? Correct. This meeting was scheduled to include Chase Covington, Avery Bancroft, yourself, and Mickey Keenan? Uh, yes, that's who was supposed to be there. And just to clarify, Chase Covington was supposed to be there? He was supposed to be there, but he never showed up. So let's talk about before that meeting. Before that meeting, you set up direct examination. You saw Avery Bancroft in the office? Yes, yeah, she was in her office. She was putting money in a briefcase? She was. It looked to you like it could have been about $200,000 she put in the briefcase. Give or take, yeah, roughly that amount. And after putting the money in the briefcase, she closed the briefcase and picked it up, right? She did. And then you went to the meeting? We did. Let's take a step back and talk this through one more time. Now, after putting the money in the briefcase, you and your boss walked with the briefcase full of money with the intention of meeting the defendant. Isn't that true? Uh, yeah, like I said, she carried money all the time, so... With the intention of being the defendant, right? Well, he was supposed to be there, but he wasn't. Thank you, Ms. Hyde. I have nothing further.